The process of learning a new programming language is similar to learning a new language. For instance, like any human language, programming consists of words organized together to form lines of code. Lines of code are used to communicate with a computer, similar to a sentence, telling it how to perform a task. In this section, we're going to start learning the language needed to communicate with a computer as we explore some key components of Python. We'll start by introducing the basics of programming, starting with why security analysts use Python. Next, we'll start building the foundations for Python. We'll discuss data types. Then, we'll cover variables. Lastly, we're going to learn about specific statements we can make in Python like conditional statements. Conditional statements help us incorporate logic into our programs. The second type of statement we'll learn about is the iterative statement. Iterative statements allow us to repeat a line of code multiple times without having to rewrite it. Learning Python helped me succeed in my career because using Python allows me to free up time from repetitive tasks and instead focus on more challenging tasks and problems. Successfully applying automation reduces my overall workload, increases productivity, and reduces the risk of human error. The use of automation also allows me to focus on my engineering tasks, which require more creativity, collaboration, and problem solving. Are you ready to start programming in Python? Let's begin. Security professionals use a variety of tools. One of those tools is computer programming. Programming is used to create a specific set of instructions for a computer to execute tasks. Let's take an example of a vending machine. Think of a vending machine as a computer that supplies food or drinks to customers. To receive an item, the customer inserts the money into the machine and then selects the item they want. Let's say the customer provides the machine with a value of $5. The machine stores this value while you make your selection. If you select a candy bar that costs $2, the machine takes this input, otherwise known as an instruction, and then understands to output your candy bar for $2 and provides the change back of $3. There are many programming languages in existence. Here, we'll focus on Python. Python is considered to be a general purpose language. This means that it can create a variety of different programs, and it isn't specialized in any particular problem. In fields such as web development and artificial intelligence, Python is typically used to build websites and perform data analysis. In security, the main reason we use Python is to automate our tasks. Automation is the use of technology to reduce human and manual effort to perform common and repetitive tasks. Python is generally best for automating short, simple tasks. For example, a security analyst who's dealing with a security incident might have a log with necessary information. Reading through these manually would take too much time, but Python can help sort through this so the analyst can find what they need. As another example, an analyst might use Python to manage an access control list, the list that controls who can access the system and its resources. It would be potentially less consistent if the analyst had to manually remove an employee's access every time they left the company. However, a Python program can periodically monitor this instead. Or Python could also perform some automated tasks like analyzing network traffic. Though these tasks can be done through outside applications, they are also possible through Python. In addition to automating individual tasks, Python can combine separate tasks into one work stream. For example, imagine a playbook indicates that an analyst needs to resolve a certain situation by deleting a file and then notifying the proper individuals. Python can connect these processes together. So 
Why exactly may a security professional choose Python for these tasks? There are several advantages Python has as a programming language. For one, Python is user-friendly because it resembles human language, it requires less code, and is easy to read. Python programmers also have the benefit of following standard guidelines to ensure consistency with the design and readability of code. Another great reason for learning Python is that there's a large amount of online support. Python also has an extensive collection of built-in code that we can import and use to perform many different tasks. These are just some of the reasons why Python continues to be in high demand across different industries throughout the world. You'll most likely use it in your security career. Now, we'll practice writing and running code. When we work in Python, we refer to what we write as a script or a program. There are subtle differences between the two. Let's compare a computer program to a theater performance. Almost every theater performance includes a written script. Actors study and memorize a script to say it out loud to an audience. However, that's not the only component. There's also the whole performance. Directors make decisions on what kind of lighting to use, or costumes, or what the stage looks like. The performance as a whole involves a lot of design choices, like set design, lighting, and costumes. The process of creating this production is similar to the process of programming in Python. Programming involves a lot of design decisions, but the process of scripting in Python is more like writing the specific words that the actors will say. In Python, it's good practice to start with a comment. A comment is a note programmers make about the intention behind their code. Let's add one now. We start with the hash symbol to indicate that this is a comment. And then we'll add details about our intention. Here, we're going to print hello Python to the screen. Okay, now let's write our first line of Python code. This code uses print. Print outputs a specified object to the screen. After print, we put what we want to output in parentheses. In this case, we want to output the string hello Python. We must place a string data in quotation marks. These quotation marks are just one example of syntax that you will encounter in Python. Syntax refers to the rules that determine what is correctly structured in a computing language. And now we'll run this code so the computer can output the string. You just ran your first line of code. Since our syntax is correct, the string is now displayed. Now that you've experienced writing and running code in Python, we are ready to discuss its basic components. Meet you soon.